This is a brief introduction to the DM2500 uh, research fluorescence microscope at UWRF. Um, so starting from the top, we've got our camera, your eye tube, this plunger here um, with your eyepieces, sorry. This plunger here when it's pushed in um, is all eyepieces. Halfway is 50% to the camera, 50% to the eyepieces and that's 50% of the light. And then all the way out, you'll see no eyepieces and all camera. So everything, only image on the monitor. And so all the light's going to the camera this way. So in like low light situations in fluorescence, you'd want it out like this. 50-50 is gonna split that light, so you're losing 50% of it right there. Okay. <clears throat> As we come down here, you have your filter cubes, which are in here, and you've got a GF, uh, DAPI, which is, let me focus in on those. DAPI is A4, GFP is GFP, green, fluorescence, and TX2 is Texas red. And then the, this is an empty spot and an empty spot, and we just call, either one is the same, but we call number five bright field. And there's a reason for that as you switch. This is your turret. So switching to number one, which is your DAPI cube, and back to number five is easy because they're on opposite, uh, next to each other on the turret there. So that's why we put the right field right there. So when we do this, we're in number one position. So now we're on DAPI. And I can see through the eyepieces, there's light shining through, and it's kind of purplish. Oh, you can see it a little bit there. I change it to the green, there's green. I change it to the red, there's red. Okay, so that's what that's for. <clears throat> and then moving down here, oh, with the fluorescence, sorry, I'll track to the fluorescence illuminator. So this is your power switch, and this is your fluorescence with the handle. And in order to operate that, you just push, obviously this steers how much uh, intensity you want on that uh, fluorescence so you can dial it down really nice unit these excite minis and then you push and you see the symbol next to the 61% change see how bright oh, look at the, the little symbol changes and all your light is coming through now so that's shining light through the microscope here and down hitting your sample if we were on the right filter cube and I'll show that in another video when we go over fluorescence. But you just push that knob and the light goes on and off. So this is your shutter. On and off, okay? That's the Excelitas uh, Excite Mini Plus. And it's got a giant cable back here that goes up and powers the actual lamp inside this box here that's attached to the back of the scope. <clears throat> Coming down, we'll have, meet the stage, and you'll have your objectives, obviously, just like any other microscope. So your objective turret, and just like any other microscope, and in some other videos I've made, when you're using your oil lens, which is this white ringed one, and you do not want to, if you put oil on the slide, make sure you don't swing it back this way because your 40X and your 20X on this microscope will float through the oil and get dirty and you'll smudge them and have to clean them. Um, so they have to be removed and thoroughly cleaned if you do that. So every time you use oil, go this way afterwards. And once you're done, sorry, focusing. Once you're done uh, with the oil, swing it that way. It's out of the path. Nothing can get smudged. You can even go one more actually. Wipe off your lens back here with lens, paper, lens tissue. Only optical grade lens paper touches that lens. And then clean off your slide. Make sure the oil droplet is completely off of there and you can clean off any smudging so you can see clearly again with your slide. Okay, so we'll come back down here then. <clears throat> These are phase contrast objectives. So you'll see a little pH number pH 1, pH 2, pH 3 on these. Those correlate to down here on this condenser under the stage. So you've got obviously bright field right there. And then if you turn this turret, you've got dark field. Can 
not getting focus here. And then turn it again, you have phase one. So if you're using it in phase contrast, that's phase one, phase two, and phase three. And then it goes back to an empty spot and bright field again. Okay, you'll see right here, there's a slider left and right. This slider is for, correlates to either the bright field, dark field, or phase. So all your bright field positions are here. And these numbers relate to um, what you see after the lens magnification. So you see the 0.65, 40x 0.65. So the 0.65 means I would move this to close to six. Okay. And um, if I was on the 20, it's a 0.4, 20x 0.4. So I would move this to the four. And these are just optimal settings. They're not, they're optimal bright field settings. They're not uh, for anything else. So you can, they're not set in stone, I should say. So you can move this switch or this lever back and forth to your heart's desire and till the sample or whatever you're looking at looks great. You'd think I could, my phone would keep this in focus, but it doesn't want to do that. Um, so here's the, and then if, of course, if you're in phase or dark field, it goes all the way over to the right and it just stays there. So only the BF position is when you would use these numberings over here. All right, coming around to the side. Um, here's your focus, fine focus, coarse focus. There's this torque. Um, you can actually uh, adjust the torque of this, um, how tight it is, basically, the focusing. And then on the right side, there's something called a focus stop. So you can actually create a position to make the objective or the stage, I guess, stop at a certain point so it doesn't smash into the objectives. Um, it should be set already to, so you don't have to worry too much about that. But that's what it's for. And then you've got your stage finger, obviously. I kind of skipped over the stage, but the stage finger to load your slides. Um, everybody's pretty aware of that. And then your X and Y for moving your sample back and forth. Um, down at the bottom, uh, we'll go through the condenser and uh, uh, centration and color alignment, but you've got uh, flip in, flip out condenser. So just so you know, this switch right here on the side is doing that. And you can see it flip in, flip out, flip in, flip out. So it's moving your condenser head or condenser lens in and out. Um, there's some also, also some adjustment screws back here. Those are for centering your phase rings. Uh, we can go over that in another video. And then you've got your light intensity, power switch, and your field aperture. You can see what that's doing to the light coming out of the base. So your transmitted light is, the shutter kind of is opening and closing or your iris diaphragm. Over on the right side and back up to the top again, this is all your fluorescence channel. So your fluorescent light is back here and it's coming, shooting straight through here and then going down the objective. So these are only for your fluorescent light. What you have is a shutter. You can just flip that switch. Most likely you'll never use these because you have a really good light source that has everything built into this little knob, knobby handle thing. So this again is your shutter on, shut it off, and then your intensity. Oops. As easy as that. So what these do on the right side of the top of the scope, these are neutral density filters. So you can cut the light by however much the percentage says on there. Um, I can't remember if it cuts the light by that percentage or if that's how much percentage is allowed through. So you got 6.3%, 25%, 50%. And you just flip those in, flip them into the path or out. You can even flip all of them in and you'll get no light. <laughs> but Or you can shutter it completely and that gets no light. Um, and then these are your apertures, uh, field diaphragm and your aperture diaphragm. 
uh, they're exactly the same as these here. In transmitted light coming up from the bottom, this is your, this here is your field, or your aperture, sorry, that's your A, your aperture diaphragm, and this here is your field diaphragm for transmitted light. These are for reflected light. So that's an overall review of the actual microscope parts. Now I'll get into more uh, details in other videos of each of those things.